Oh, the event was uh, awesome. The part that I love the most is certainly the Q&A with the kids as well as the parents. But then when it was time to do the photo at the conclusion, just to see the excitement and the happiness and the pure joy on the faces of the kids was unbelievable. I love that. You know, I'm a father of five, so I'm affectionate and caring when it comes to anything that involves kids. So that was unbelievable today. And also, you know, to be a part of the Guinness Book of World Records as well. That was phenomenal. Uh, tell me about this, this title here, CMO. What does it mean to be the CMO? CMO, I, I, first of all, I love it. First and foremost, that's my first being, first time being a CMO. And it, I think it describes me perfectly. And I love this partnership and this relationship. And I'm all in. Um, I pride myself on staying healthy, uh, mentally, physically, psychologically, spiritually, strong as well. So I'm excited to, to be able to try my darndest to motivate the masses. Where does this event rank for you with uh, all your chief motivational officers? Well, I've been involved in a, in a lot of things, but I, I'm telling you, the title, the title gets it. The title is a, is a attention grabber, and, and, and I absolutely love it. Uh, whoever thought of it, God bless you. I love it. Yeah. Um, from your perspective, why is it important to have family spending time together being active? First of all, family is everything. Um, when this world turns its back on you, in which sometimes it, it could, friends and, and, and others as well, family, families most likely is going to consistently be there, what well, it has in my case. And I don't know where I would be without the love and the forgiveness of family. And I'm thankful that family is, is one of our core components of what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, did, you, did this event bring back any memories for you from when you're- Yeah, I mean, you gotta understand, uh, I've done youth camps for kids for a long time. I mean, I can remember our first youth football tribe camp for my youth organization called Truth, and we had 1,200 kids at the Cotton Bowl, which was unbelievable. We had no idea of how many kids were gonna show up, and not only did they show up, they showed out, and it was phenomenal. And from then on, we had one of the top or the leading youth organizations in the country. So, so just pouring into youth and giving them the opportunity to hone in on their skills, and, but often, just to give them an opportunity to have fun with their parents. That's a blessing. So do you feel like it keeps you young? Am I looking there or there? Okay. Do you feel like it keeps you young to do some of these um, youth camps? I don't know if it keeps me young. I think uh, just being around kids, period, gives you the thought process of I gotta stay strong and I gotta keep up. So I don't know if it keeps me young, but it has me thinking about making sure I'm able to stay in the consistency of shape so that I could accomplish some of the things that I dreamt of accomplishing in life. So you mentioned you, you went through some of these things, your sons did as mm -hmm. well. Is that why it's maybe important for you to give back, just knowing how important it is for well, adults to do this for kids? A lot of people say how important it is to give back. I, I think if you're blessed, and I feel like most of uh, the majority of us are, we should. Um, it shouldn't be mandated but it should be heart dated. That if that's in your heart, I feel like you should do what's ever in your heart. It's in my heart to, to be a blessing because I've been tremendously blessed. And then being a part of a, a record, you kind of mentioned it, but right. is that pretty cool too to just uh, have these kids set a record? First of all, the Guinness Book of World Records have been around for I don't know how long. So to, just to be a part of that historic thought process and name Guinness, that's, uh, that's major. That's truly major, and I'm appreciative of that. You know, as we get older, and our kids, we have our kids, uh -huh. it's easy to kind of neglect yourself and not take care of yourself. To, but not today. True. You saw parents participating with their kids. And, and is that the that. secret sauce to family and health? Is sharing those Well, well the secret together? sauce is love. The secret sauce is love and understanding. That's the secret sauce. But anytime we have an opportunity to be in one's life, doing something that we unitedly share, it's a true blessing. I get to come to, 
I don't call it work. I get to come to my calling every day and see my kids and see my sister, see my mother, um, see my dog. Um, that's family. And just to be able to come every day to do that, you're talking about a blessing. It's hard for me not to smile. What kind of impact are you hoping to make on Colorado in addition to the bus? Well, I don't want to just make an effect. I want to infect as well. I just want to bring joy. I want to bring laughter. I want to bring humor. I want to bring hope. Uh, I want to bring love, commitment, sacrifice, um, accountability, and so many other attributes I would love to bring. And I feel like we, we're heading in the right direction. We have a great start. And this is phenomenal. This just adds to it. This opportunity. All right, last questions? Last, we're good? We're good? All right, thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Coach Coach Thank you. Thank you very much.